Hey everyone, it's Alexa again from Getly Designs, and in this quick tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can um, customize the colors of your viewport within 3ds Max 2014. It's really quick and easy. You just go up to Customize tab, which is located between the Rendering and Max Script tab at the top of your screen. Click on Customize with the left mouse button. Then when the dialog box opens, choose Customize User Interface. Again, that's Customize User Interface, top of the list. Click on that. Once you click on that, a uh, dialog box will open and it will have a variety of different tabs in here from keyboard, mouse, toolbars, quads, menus, and colors. Since we're interested in customizing the colors of our screen, we could click the color tab. Then you can scroll down and find out what you want to change. I would like to change the viewport background. So I quickly, quickly scroll for viewport background, click on that. I notice over here there's this gray swatch which represents the color of the viewport background. If we click on that left mouse click, it opens up our color palette which we can then choose what color we would like our background to be. I'm going to choose a blue color. Hit OK. Nothing happens. That's because you need to hit this apply colors now button. So if we hit that, then the viewport backgrounds change. So now we have this really fantastic blue green color to work on which would be fun for the eyes after a few, <laughs> a few minutes. Um, but yeah, and then you can change some other things like the active viewport border. Right now it's brown. So if I click on this, you notice there's a light brown around the edge. We want that to be more obvious now that we've changed it to this blue color. So I'm going to make it white. Hit OK, then hit apply colors. Now it works its magic. Now you can see this white. So it's very obvious which viewport I'm in. You can change all different kinds of settings and colors in your uh, customized user interface. You can save settings and then load them in. Um, all kinds of options. But say you did something and you're like, oh my gosh, what have I done? I don't want this. I just want to default back to normal. You can just hit this button at the bottom that says reset next to load and save. Hit reset. It'll ask you, if you continue, you will lose all changes you've made to your menu since you started this session. Continue. Hit yes. It'll work its magic. And now everything is back to gray and brown. So that's how you can modify and customize your viewport interface. Um, have fun with it and hopefully you'll come up with some good styles that are easy on your eyes and allow you to work for long hours.